cover of Kim Kardashian at the Met. Okay, Ball. okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know that it. you'll have something to say about Here's this. Here's the deal, y'all. I know, and I wish Susie was here because I've defended Kim Kardashian a lot. I've defended her choice to go on reality TV. I've defended the fact that her and her sisters and her family are good business people. I have defended that if you're going to go on reality TV, make it worth the viewers' while. But I can't defend this <laughs> at all. Let's I can't defend this garden party, turtleneck, <laughs> full length, gloved dress slash I'm trying to be Angelina Jolie with this slit. I can't defend that at all. Can we, should, okay. we should say that the theme of the ball was punk. It was like a punk rock theme. And if you so look at the wear other a black leather dress with some studs on it and call it a day. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to. Okay, I get your opinion. And no, I'm with you. I'm, I'm gonna defend I, her a little I am bit because when you have been pregnant, you yes. understand. It is so hard. Uh, because even Courtney, somebody knows Courtney. Courtney no, I let you talk. I let you talk. I let you get your bit in. But let me tell you, when you are pregnant, it is so hard to find clothes. And so Kim, you're going to wear a turtleneck floral dress well, with a doing, glove? But she's doing the best she can. She's she wants wearing to be a cute. punk rock inspired Look at Kanye's dress. Kanye's face. He's literally like, what the hell did I get myself I think, into? No, no. I think every pregnant woman. He's like, woman, don't judge me no, no, because she wore this. Every pregnant woman is off limits from from the from the fashion police. I'm sorry. Leave her alone. Let well, her just and be I, and have that baby and be I got happy. on her before for some of her choices during her her pregnancy and I think that we just have to say Kim you know, and I you, get it. She's trying to be like avant-garde, and she's trying to like step and out. And I thought she looked beautiful, and I thought her throwing her leg out, she looked gorgeous. And I don't know. Well, I, I mean, did, I'm I not saying say she looked ugly. I'm just saying there's a better if you're if you're pregnant, no, which I've never been. Knock she on could, glass. She could have gone just basic black. I know what you're saying. Just I'm like not going to let talk about you either. I I'm not going to let talk about you. I, hey, you, well, you're I'm not throwing her under the bus because well, I'm a reality TV girl pounds. too. So I'm not throwing this girl under the bus. I'm just saying there are just better clothing options. And maybe she did it on purpose. Maybe a publicist said, you should do this. It'll get you in the news. Everyone will and be talking about that, it. And that, right? So maybe she's smarter than all of us. Then everybody starts talking about it. But hey, I'm just saying it was not cute. Speaking of reality TV. I thought this was interesting. Um, they were talking about what the reality stars that we know get paid, and and don't worry, I asked Courtney this morning. Like, I just <laughs> want to make sure you're comfortable with us. We don't need to. We don't need to ask you that question. But I was shocked because Nene, the one on um, uh, Housewives of Atlanta, mm -hmm. makes about a million bucks a year. Now, keep in mind, she also has two TV gigs. She's mm -hmm. on Glee and on. Um, What's the other one that she's on? The new normal. The, the new, new normal. normal. Yeah. And uh, she does she does well with those as well. But a million dollars a year. But you know what? I mean, you have to admire what she's. I mean, I I don't. I'm not into the reality shows and all the. And I don't, again, Courtney. <laughs> I, I love how I'm bad that she's always like, you know, I'm not really into reality TV. Now, Courtney, uh, your I'm show hasn't come out yet on Bravo, so I, I have not seen you. it. I don't know what you did. I don't know if you slapped somebody. I, I didn't flip a table. Okay, I'll put long it you didn't. I just don't like to see women fighting each other, so I don't I don't get into that and cursing each other out and slapping oh each gosh, other. Oh my gosh, it is I don't so bad. That. Like, And I can't stop watching. That's the problem is I, I, I say, like, it's horrible and I don't think they should do that. And then I turn on Housewives of Orange County and I can't can't stop watching because right. all they're doing is screaming yeah. at each other and fighting and tearing each other down. And, and it's you want to know how is it going to end up? But, but I we can't all stop get watching. caught up. You know, in a good story. I mean, like I love scandal, so I mean, I get it, right? But it's just that she has been able to build an empire from this. I mean, she, she took hustles. Nini's. Yeah, Nini. Yeah. I mean, she's taken, and I, I believe like you're going to do I the same awesome. thing. I really do. I believe you're going to do the same thing. But I think she's been able to take this platform and really explode it into to a business. And now she's in California. She's acting. A she said originally she always wanted to be, absolutely, but she always wanted to be an actress. You yeah. know, and that's interesting because, you know, so many people ask me after, you know, Most Eligible, which was on Bravo, like almost two years ago, people say, well, why did uh, you were on kind of a stint? There was like two years that, you know, I wasn't on reality TV and say, what, what, why did you choose to return? And I said, well, the blog happened and then just so many things happened from Most Eligible that opened so many doors that wouldn't have opened 
otherwise. And you have this platform, right? and you have this audience, and you have mm -hmm. this this this. I hate the word fan base, but but it is you people have who audience. you know love what you're wearing or, or think you're funny. Right. Why I don't know. Um, but, you are yeah. funny, but you know <laughs> that's and so, why right there. That's right. <laughs> those people encourage you and ask you, when are you going to come out with a jewelry line? When are you going to come out with a clothing right. line? When's your next blog post happening? When are we going to see you on TV again? And you are and doing it, a jewelry line, and you do have a, a very successful blog that's mm -hmm. been nominated now by D Magazine yes. as See? the best blog. See? And Miss Susie Humphreys also was nominated for um, the best newscaster. And she was, it was so funny because we told cool. her yesterday, she didn't know. <laughs> we told oh, her. She's like, I don't know what that means. What? <laughs> what? Now who's nominating me for what? <laughs> I she was it. just shocked, but <laughs> but the point is, you know, you you are smart enough to take that opportunity and use it as a platform, use and it I to build a brand. And I think that's if anybody um, who is approached by reality TV, I think if that is not your mindset to to use it as a launching pad for something, right. you're and you're that was not one very of the smart. reasons I I got into reality TV is I remember the first meeting I had with with the casting producers and the and the um, team at at Bravo. They said if there's anything you've ever wanted to do in your entire life. This is a way to launch into that. And yeah. mm -hmm. I look at people who have been on reality TV and you know people will make fun of them and go, "Oh, well they're just trying to monetize their 15 minutes of fame." It's like, "Well, yeah, yeah you you are trying to use this fan base and this audience that you've garnered right. and see, you know, if you can turn it into a brand. Some people right. can, some people can't. Don't can. judge again, people for that. That's well, what they should be doing. Yeah, and again, as long as you're not selling your soul, as long as you're not hurting other people, well, putting as long other people as those, down. Those I'm Playboy cool pictures it. of me don't come out. We'll oh. be oh. <laughs> Sex tape. Oh, Lord. Lord. Please, Please bless the Lord. Naked Lord, photos. Don't <laughs> just wait, um, America. We're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, I do want to talk about this obituary um, that is actually hilarious, and it made me think, what would you like yours to say? How would you like people to remember you, and what would you like them to say about you? So we'll talk about that when we come back.